Hi all, welcome to Dot and Mob. Myself Shamsir. In this video, I will show you how to export C# -sharp data table to PDF using iTextSharp DLL. This is my Windows application project just created for this purpose. You can download this project from the link given below in video description. I preferred Windows application for explaining this method just for simplicity. Even though you can use this method in any C# -sharp application. In this application, we have one form with one checkbox and one button. Inside the click event off button, I have written code for exporting PDF. The exported PDF will be open for user if the checkbox is checked. Let's look what I have written inside the button click event. Here, I invoke the function make data table. Inside the function, I have declared a table friend and define the columns for the table and populated with seven rows finally i return the table the return table is passed into the function export data table to pdf which is responsible for exporting the c sharp data table into pdf along with the table i have passed directive where we want to save the pdf and pdf header also let me increase my zoom level to somewhere 125 and inside the function export data table to pdf i have written code for exporting the table before that you need to import the dll that is itextsharp dll in our case we can find the dll in the debug folder of the project that is this one itextsharp dll otherwise you can google itextsharp latest dll and after downloading you can add from the add reference then browse the uh, location where you save the or downloaded the dll then just click ok for the purpose of exporting pdf you need to add two namespaces from the dll that is itextsharp.txt.pdf and itextsharp.txt in the first line i have created an object of class file stream that is fs the next line i have created an object of class document that is document which corresponds to our pdf document and here i have set the document size to a4 here i have set the page size to a4 itextsharp support a various types of page sizes you can see here in our case we will be using a4 then i have created an object of class pdf writer as writer which link both document and the file stream then i have opened the document by calling the function open exported pdf will be like this and here you can see front list is written as the pdf header which can be done using this much lines here i have created an object of class base font base font will be used for specifying the font family and the encoding type then i have created an object of font using the base font then Create, then specify the font size then font style font style will be specified as integers one for normal two for in italic so on then the font color then created a paragraph here then set the paragraph alignment to sender then added the text that is front list as the pdf or the paragraph content new uh, string will be added into a paragraph using the function or creating an object of chunk class by specifying the string and the corresponding font then we have added the paragraph into our document now we have added pdf header as the first element into our pdf 
In the exported PDF, next we have author and run date details that can be written using this section of codes. Same as the report header, we have used paragraph here also. Using this line, I have added the other details and then the run date. Here you can see I have added a backward slash n character which is for the line break after all the details. In the end of the section, we have added the other detail, other and run date details into the document. After all the and run date details, we have a line. Line can be drawn using the line separator class inside the draw namespace. Using this paragraph, I have drawn a tab. A, using this paragraph, I have drawn the line, then added the line into the PDF. Then I have added one line break using backward slash and character. Now we have a PDF table. For that, I have created an object of class PDF P table by specifying number of columns. Using these lines of code, I have drawn or written the table header that is this row. For the row, I have used a separate font style. As you can see here, the font object is created using the base font object and foreground color is white. And then I have iterated along the table header columns. And each of these cells is added using or by creating PDFP cell object. And then I have set this cell background color to gray. That can be seen here. And each of the uh, content into the cell can be added by cell dot add element. Inside that we can add our cell content using the chunk class by specifying the font here. I have added table header cell content as table column names. Table column name can be retrieved by table object dot columns then index dot column name then converted the case into upper case after that we have added the cell into the table like that after the for each loop we will be having this table header row with four cells then we have added these seven rows using these two for loops in each loop we have added one cell for that you can simply call add self function since we don't have any format like we have done in our header after all we have added the table into our pdf document then we have closed document then writer then file stream so now we have exported our c -sharp data table into PDF successfully. In the last part of the button click event, you can see this match code. This will open the exported PDF for the user if the checkbox is checked. That's it. You can download this project from the link given below in video description. Please be subscribed to my channel for awesome videos like this. Please like and share the video with your friends have a nice day bye